I'm Janie Bryant, the costume designer for Mad Men. I'm so excited to be working with Chadston on the Icons of Style, another exclusive in-season fashion event. I hope you enjoy the exhibition. I've had so much fun curating it for you with some of the most iconic costumes from the Mad Men television series. Season four. There will be more memorable costumes, more glitz, and then there's also going to be moments of like, not so glitzy. It's gonna be really interesting. Our principal cast that, you know, we see every year, Don, Betty, Joan, Peggy, we are adding to their closets, but some of the pieces are still the same. I really like to maintain the design of their character because I think it's a part of being realistic. It's like anybody's lives, you know, you add, you know, pieces to your closet, but you're not changing your whole style with every trend. So this is Dawn's world. Don Draper's palette for season four is getting a little darker, which I think is very important for the storytelling of what's happening to him this year. This is the world of Peggy. You're looking lovely today. Thank you. This is like her weekend coat, the toggle coat, which I think is so great. The plaid wool lining inside and the toggles. I mean, that's Peggy, right? I have new costumes for her, for her accomplishments, for her growth in the company, for changes that are going on for her emotionally. She has really, you know, come into her own. I don't want to make a career out of being there so you can kick me when you fail. So yes, I have reflected that in her costume design. Look how pretty mommy is. You know, I always think of Betty's style as the idea of perfection. So this is Betty's world. And her, you know, her palette has definitely maintained. This is a dress I designed for her. She looks beautiful in the tones of the lavenders and the blues and the winter whites. I wish you were waiting for me. There has been a shift in her world and her silhouette has shifted as well. This is a beautiful suit for Betty for season four. One of my inspirations would definitely be Jackie O and that ideal of perfection. You could dress like that. Go to Lord and Taylor and ask for my friend Bunny Appel. She'll take care of you. You really know everything, Joan. This is Joan's closet here. I always saw her as a character who really knew what shapes work for her body, regardless of, you know, what was going on in fashion. Branch out. This is a, a slip of Jones. Usually the audience doesn't, they don't see the foundation pieces, but it's so important for me for them to not only feel their character on the outside, but the inside as well. The color is very Joan, jewel tone, the black lace, the bow. So I just, it spoke to me for, for Joan. If you can believe it, this is one of Joan's dresses and um, it's, you know, I think it's uh, an interesting thing about the period because the hanger appeal isn't there, but as soon as you get it on the body, you know, it's like mind blowing. What am I wearing? We do get to see different worlds this season. Characters not being so done up, a more mod lifestyle, youth culture. There's such a great variety. It's all amazing. 